been a lot of changes around here. Yeah, I mean, the last time we saw you. It's only been a year, but it's been changes, but look, I mean, Tesco Express has got a new like, window shine thing, so every oh, no. other day they clean the windows, so it looks even more clean than before. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. There's fucking well woman fucking advertising on there, you know what I'm saying? That's a big change, that's a big change. Yeah. It's evolved, man. Exactly. Like my taste in girls has evolved, everything is evolving. More money in the pocket though. Richer people are moving into the area. Richer people, which leads to richer, you know, we can get that rich, you know, it just trickles down to all the hustlers. All the, all the business people come and then the hustlers get the money as well. I oh, know, so that's it's just... Good, it's good news for us. That's a good business model, man. You should write that down. The thing is, yeah, when you hit like 25, 24, when the hormones start to kick in, innit? You get a different interpretation on the world. You want to use your hustling instincts for the better. Well, I want to, I've said that for a new leaf, you know, I was away for a while. I've learned some new things, I've seen some new people, and new ways of being, so I'm thinking, like, fuck it, you might as well. Do things for the. I've seen, I saw Star Wars as well, which like inspired me because like. I heard it's philosoph uh, philosophical. Yeah, well, it's like the, the light side of the dark and the dark side of the dark. I mean, the light side of the force and the dark side of the force. That is the question, yeah. It's not a racial thing. That's like a, it's just like a sort of like good and bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna choose to be on the light side now. Nowadays. What the light side of Brixton? Well, not like the racial thing, but like. Okay. Like, a, like a positivity instead of negativity, sort of. Thing. So instead of robbing like a. You know, like uh, like some some school kid or something. Yeah. I'm gonna rob a fucking businessman because he's got bad money. Sick. And I'll give like 20p to the to the man on the street that asked me for 20p. I oh, know. Fucking a Jedi fighting the evil by doing this sort of stuff. Fighting stuff, champagne and cheese, Vader. Exactly. Basically. Oh, stuff, champagne and cheese, Vader. Do they say may the force be with you again? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. You need to bend that slogan into a more like urban sort of uh, motto. Uh, very catchy. Force turn up. I don't know. Turn up the force, brew boy. Yeah, it's done, man. A lot of changes, mostly in myself, to be honest, man. Yeah. I don't know what happens when you get that, that 24, 25 year old mind bomb. A lot of things, a lot of things change. Change. The perceptions of the places change. Like, obviously, I'm a hustler. That's my instincts. I was born with that gift. It's in my veins, in my blood. But I need to start you. Come on, man. I need to start using that for the better now. Yeah. To fight like social injustice and make a change to this fucking area. Is that it? The expensive prices down in Champagne and Cheese Bar. I mean, look at this guy. You get me? I mean, that's the problem there, man. Man, I had a suit on, fam. They all look the fucking same. He was smoking a Vogue, bruv. So, yeah, I just need to. I need to switch it up a little bit. You know, I've started thinking a little bit more. You know, when you hit that age and you graduate, you watch a lot more Sky News, a lot more BBC4. Yeah. Start to read a little bit more. I'm a little bit philosophical about all this shit. Yeah. Start asking questions, looking in the mirror, like, oh, am I hustling because I'm getting the girls? Or, do the girls like me because I'm hustling? No, that's profound. Or am I hustling because you're fucking me? I think I just tell you being that. That's, if, if I do, that's You know profound. what I fucking mean, I can't, you know. That's profound, though, it's this. I mean, that was just this weekend. <laughs> I met some yeah. French girls this weekend. Did you bank? Almost, almost. Got the WhatsApp. Whoa, that's... Stealing that baby, bruv. See, Brixton hasn't changed. Had a good Tinder date down here once. What was it? Where'd you say, Cop? Coffee Federation. Left me out of pocket, man. What sort of food do you want? That's the beauty about living in Brixton nowadays. You can get travel around the globe, basically. Exactly. We're, we're just doing a fucking round the world trip right now. How much money do you have? About ten pound. Shot in the Benz. That's about an hour ago. But you're paying for both of us, aren't you? Fam. I've got to pay for the dog as well. Look at this, man. Look at them all in the back seat. Starbucks got laptops in the fucking dark. Hey, watch out, watch out. If she sees that, she's going to go crazy, bro. Yeah. Here's the plan. We've got slogans on this. Slogans on your bags, your purses. Yeah. Gentrify this. Yeah. Got a good idea. You have a little mirror on a t-shirt that says gentrify this, so you're looking at yourself. Oh, shit. That is profound. Thank you. They're fish, bro. Now, I'm addicted. 
a champion and she's smacked. I am, I am my own problem here, destroying yeah. myself. Hey, it's leaving me out of pocket. I go there every day. Look at that smile, look at that smile. That's because they're a dog, bro. Dogs work, fam. I had a row with the manager of Champagne Cheese the other day. Is it? I said, mate, your prices are absolute nonsense. Yeah. So after you gave me the receipt, man, for the bill. Yeah. Mate. So I couldn't really do much, mate. Hey, took my money. Yeah. Just looked at me and that was it. I can't go back. So he robbed you, basically? He robbed me. Daylight still robbed addicted. Me. I'm shaking, I'm on edge. Fucking hell, that looks all right still. Too much, bro. Too much for a hustle. How much? Ten pounds. That's a Fucking hell, man. I don't live in fucking John Lewis. I'm hungry, mate. I'm hungry. Mask, I'm a dog. What the fuck is that thing? Holy shit! Can, can you do that if you're a dog? Yeah? You need to get a job, man. You can't afford any of this food. I can never get a job, man. I'm always quitting after the second day, at least. I'm always just chirps in the box. She's a go. I've decided I'm gonna get a McDonald's double cheeseburger for one pound. That's what always happens every time we try and do this. I must pay £10 or pay one pound. We've got one pound fifty option, Obviously. But you know, one day. Good change in your pocket. One day when we've got a stall and we're hustling harder. Yeah, we can afford £10 meal deals. Oh, one day I'm gonna like go into the Bristol market and protest, man. Protest about those prices, man. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Hunger strike. Hunger strike, exactly. Chain myself to champagne and cheese bar, man. Yeah, also, like, eat bare food to the four so you can last longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you might go like a bit. Hungry. That smells good. I think we should chain ourselves to some hipsters. What, just like stop them living their lives? Yeah. And these girls dead as well. <laughs> so I didn't have enough money for the, uh, the hipster food. But I did have enough money for classic mac and cheese. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Might as well review this. Sweet as. It's warm. That's, that's a start. Oh. oh, shit. That's the trouble, man. So delicious. Got a double as well. Double. Double cheeseburger, don't fuck up that. £1.50, £1.49. Compared to what, 764 over there? Right there. She's, her mouth is watering. That nose is getting yeah, aroused. Mm. Oh, that's just fucking mean. This is good though, this is worth, well, this is worth a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's juicy, look at that. Oh, that's a juicy burger, man. You know what, man? She loves it. Oh, damn it. Should do a little pop up McDonald's here. Buy the McDonald's over there. I like it. Sell them in. That's the hustle, man. Still should have as well. Or sell it in Brixton Village, mate. I think everyone in there is looking for McDonald's anyway, man. But this wrapper, though. Do you like some hipster design? Wrap it in the wrapper. Yeah, yeah. Wrapper. Bang a little bow tie on that. Exactly. I like that idea of chaining ourselves to a hipster, though, man. A buff one as well. Oh, fuck, that is the plan. I think they're turning this all into, into flats, luxury flats. Oh, fuck up so that, man. Chain ourselves to that as well. Chain ourselves to the clock, innit? One of us on that clock, one of us on that clock. Yeah, I think the girls will like that as well. Yeah. That's the only reason people like protest, I think. Girls love it. We'll get them Tinder matches. Get them Tinder matches going. What are you reading? Fuck that. I've heard, of, heard of nonsense, to be honest with you, pal. Propaganda. Yeah? Look at that. Fucking Angel Town. Bit of journalism here. Yeah. Yeah. Not liking what I'm seeing. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. Ten page fucking feature. Why didn't they put Loughborough Estate in there, eh? I'm, not, I'm still looking for that. It's got to be in there. 
Are we in, in there? there somewhere? Have they taken photos of us and put us in there? Slightly in the... Maybe in the background. Yeah. Because it's saying that it's a shit up. Stay in. Look at that grimy little picture there. Look at that. Piss there. Butters girl. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. I had a fucking idea. This is obviously selling. Yeah. Undercover detectives going into the ends. Let's do a little twist on that. Basically. I've been volunteering it at a short, I don't want to give the name, but a little short documentary festival, let's say. And uh, the key to a good film there, it seems, no joke, is just nudity. Yeah. Cock and balls. Right. I saw this LGBT documentary, right? It was all great, but the grand jury, they said, it needs more cock and balls. Right. So I'm thinking, that's the key. Combine that with this. What'd you get? You go undercover, Angel Town Estate, turns into some gay erotic drama. I mean, you never know, it could be like a little drag underground scene there. So yeah, here's the plan. You go down to Angel Town tonight, butt naked. Butt fucking naked. Butt plugs and all. And you, uh, you film and you give me the footage in the morning. All right. Sell it out. All right, I'll sign that. What the fuck is that peacock art shit in the tree, man? I went there before.